E6. Bishop E5. Bishop E7. Wow, this is a really double-edged knight E5 castle. Okay, so we're up to here. Embarrassing question. Have you ever been in that situation where you've gotten your preparation at the board, it's all going so very well, and then you just forgot what you were supposed to do? <laughs> we're having internet problems. I can't believe it. Bishop back to g3. Well, let's let, let let's try it once more. And f6. Knight d3. This is the current situation, right? Sweet. Oops, sorry. I just have to go back. Castles? Forgot his preparation. 94. No. Bishop b4. Very threatening. Bishop d6. The standard move. But now, knight g3. Ninety-four, which makes a lot of sense. Um, very, very impressive. Uh, and knight g five, knight f four. We saw this position precisely. Actually, I played a lot, a lot of games with this. What are you doing? Definitely. He determined, okay, well, let me just get my knight out of the way. He played 92. Was that from a basketball and... Uh... <laughs> Exactly. Well, I mean, I was raised on Akiba Rubinstein. I think it may be too much to ask. Rook B1. Uh, try to take advantage of uh, your edge. Don't I? No. And then can I check? E6. No, that was a brilliant. Uh, well, that that that's what that's the trick. Well, this rook on B7 is pretty lonely as well. I'm not happy at all. Are those tricky knight moves. No, exactly. Now, last time I played c6 and I got myself into trouble. Well, we're seeing a real uh, theoretical battle going on here. With, uh, the vision on e4 is not really protected. So this is after is, this pawn structure and bishop ending is superior for white. Ooh, we've got some celebrities in the audience. Wow. Knight, uh, pardon me, rook to I did the same thing against Roman Jinji Hashvili in a World Open, and I got tortured for 160 moves and lost the game. Yeah. <laughs> that was not a lot of fun for me as black. So uh, well, black is up an exchange. Right. Wow.
Well, I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying it, it doesn't feel really... Mm. Wow. I mean, that's, um, <laughs> that's preparation that goes from the opening to the end game, doesn't it? F3. No question about it. I'm just wondering, well, after this move, knight c3. Another interesting line of play would be this one. Check. Rye. King g2. Well, I'm not, I'm not usually one to gift away my pawns. I think this move, rook h2, really came as a big shock. Knight d5 resigns. These these rapid games were were fun. Knight d7. Oh, maybe it's even bishop g5. Got knight e7. Well, what are we going to do? Hmm. That's a nice one. Well, the extraordinary part there. Uh, G6, just, just for fun's sake. Stay in the game. I mean, F6. G7. Right. Do you remember the green man? Check. King David seven. Uh, check. This is this is horrifying. This is a glorious achievement. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Suddenly, all of his pieces were secure. This is my opening uh, to get in my all-time best cheapo uh, that I can. Yeah, I, just, I got to remind the audience, these guys are really good. <laughs> so don't be surprised when, <laughs> when they find my moves. Bishop c3. Uh, uh, very nice. We're having internet problems. I can't believe it. Knight f6. Ooh, wait a minute. Wow. Hmm. Now this uh, very quick approach of bishop e7. Put your king on d6. You've got nothing to fear. Check. c5. And ready to be gobbled up. This has been the go-to variation for, for white and black. With this or? Uh, sorry, he did what? You got to calculate the, these kinds of lines in a blink of an eye. So rook d7 has been played. Knight c4 and chase the king. Do all kinds of nasty things here. Check precisely. Okay.
that that that's what that's the trick check i guess you just have to calculate that isn't causing any accidents because at the moment this guy's still active so like there is always these uh yeah did you guys just turn off my skype Wow, I forgot. And this is where you like the move F5. I've got 97. That's really fascinating final position. Wow, what a game there. White's best move, according to the chess theoreticians, is the move h4. h6. And we have bishop f4, e6, e3. Uh, again, bishop d6, as expected. Bishop b5. That's with a check. Really? Maybe knight e5? Castle short. After this move, knight c3. That looks kind of interesting. Okay, but... Um, that is weird. Really? Okay. I think we're going to sacrifice soon. Knight h5. Okay, if you take with the rook, yeah. Exactly. Can I just, like, boot you? Ready to be gobbled up. Rook c8. <laughs> Ooh. Well, do we like knight d4? Lovely. Uh, well, actually, we have a phone call, sorry. Now, uh, there's something about that move I do like, but that's because I'm the pawn grubber. Uh, people would like to... Uh, other people would like to try to make these sacrifices work. Oh! Ooh, yes. Whether I like to or not, I think I'm, I'm going to shut down my bishop just for the tempo that it serves. Knight e6, so... What do I do now? Uh, the players are following. I don't know precisely which game number, but this was all played in the World Championship match in London. Oh! First of all, that's a tempo. Check. Good move. And knight d7. Queen e7. And just for the point, for all the reasons you're saying. And quite frankly, he doesn't have too much of a choice. Yeah. 
Bishop to d4. Oh, my, oh, sorry. I'll go back. Okay. This position is very unfavorable for black. Check. Very good. Rook on e2. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, he doesn't have too much of a choice. Rook c1. Check. Good move. Check. Um, exactly. Bishop h5. Check. F3. This position is very unfavorable for black. It, it, can an argument be made for queen b1, by the way? Check. Yes. Is time a factor in this match? Because you also had the other alternative, which you were thinking about as well. <laughs> and he played it so fast. Rook c1, check. B2, very irritating checks. All right. It took me, a, I, I worked very hard to understand the idea of triangulation, but I think that this is a very... A uh, nice example of it. King d1. Check. King e2. Deadly check. Well, and how did that line go again? Once again. The oldest defense in the world run fast. King e3 and rook to e2. And we're going to come back shortly. Exactly. But let's just take a look at uh, in real time uh, through the magic of video as we can see the replay of what happened. Queen b5. Check. I'm just looking at this position. Maybe it's asking too much. F3. Ah. Whoa. Bishop a6. These types of things. And black should not be just sitting waiting for uh, white uh, to uh, execute bishop c4. Uh, let's get those ponies castle short. Queen a5, the best move. And just uh, bishop d2 to get an advantage. A three is not right. So we got. Uh, are we are we here now? So I must have had cruel teachers. At least Jeffrey Parson took a great uh, interest in uh, making me struggle. Knight C five. Um, um. Again, this knight went to F six. Knight. Uh, pardon me. Rook to. If you take, well, here, Bishop on b3. Embarrassing question. Have you ever been in that situation where you've gotten your preparation at the board, it's all going so very well, and then you just forgot what you were supposed to do? Knight f4. 
It will be very intriguing to see. Bishop d6. <laughs> uh, the players are following. I don't know precisely which game number, but this was all played in the World Championship match in London. Stay in the game. So you're right. So after bishop c4, we went queen c8. Is that right? <laughs> Ooh. Exactly. <laughs> you make everybody happy, man. Knight d5. Many, many, many games have been played from this position. Knight h5. You know what I'm thinking? Bishop f6. It's preparation, guys. Check. Acasito, senor. All right, and uh, Bishop F4. So clear. Like, for example, let's say I go here. Knight H5. This position is forced, and think about it for a second. How would you win it if you were white? Like, what moves would you make here? Bishop c3. Uh, bishop to d4. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh. Um, and. Oh, bishop e5, sorry. The players have a lot to play for, don't they? Right. We got to do that ASAP. I'm, I'm a happy camper. Why? Got ninety seven check. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you make everybody happy, man. Bishop F six, Queen H six. I'm I'm old fashioned, right? And also, you've wasted some time yourself, Bishop G five. Oh well, it's it's strange what little I know about this position. What? Right. I mean H three. Another interesting line of play would be this one. The knight on E two check these types of things and black should not be just sitting waiting for uh, white uh, to uh, execute king g3 I like the move 92 check we have king g4 oh yeah 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 no I understand right I can try Yeah, exactly. I don't know if it's 50-50, meaning 50% 50 50 of the time that white may win, 50% of the time black may lose. I think it's less than that. Bishop g5. Yes, I am done. That was brutal.
that's a very good move. No question about it. I'm just wondering. You know, this is my opening. <laughs> you know, like I'm playing it for years. Yeah, nice. The idea there is Black wants to cover the business squares. And um, look at you guys go F4. I'll just say, OK. It's true. It's true. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not hearing the applause. Knight F6. Sure. By the way, they did follow our line. This, this bishop on d4, I, I personally find it annoying. Dude, you tricked me. Ah. Uh, my king has been compromised, and maybe knight f5. You're burning your bridges. But now, okay. Uh, my king has been compromised, and maybe if I... Oh, oh. G5? Uh, G7. This is too exciting. Knight G4. So let, let's say I just make a move. But, so yeah, if you could just, yeah. Put, right. And now... That was crazy. Check. King H7. I was also thinking that even if you did go here, I'm not 100% sure about this. Uh, here, after forgot his preparation, Bishop C5. If you take, okay, uh, and check. So these gentlemen, uh, also very, very close friends. Thank you so much. These, these rapid games were, were fun.
Bishop F8. I want to refute White's position. By the way, just to everybody, once again, Bishop G7. You got to calculate the, these kinds of lines in a blink of an eye. After uh, we um, we have some moves, what were they? And some. That's pretty significant, I would, I would say. The incredibly tactically gifted. Sorry. Uh, my experience has told me that Black's game is not only playable, it's really good. But, but let's, uh, pretty nasty threat. I'm waiting. Yes. Slightly worse position. Bit artificial. Something. Gift me your pawns, baby. Exactly. It's, it's strange what little I know about this position. Rook David three. None of this seems to be a surprise for anybody. So, quite extraordinary. And, and I'm forced to move my king. This is, this is horrifying. Well, thank you so much. Wow, what a game there.
d5, d4, knight f6, knight c3. I just didn't understand the move uh, h6, and what does the en what do the engines uh, say? Bishop to d7. It's preparation, guys. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, help me, guys. Uh, and that looks okay. Now... I'm a little bit, maybe a bit suspicious about the move, but okay. It... No, that was a brilliant, uh, sweet, on A4. Gotta watch out for knight G4. Well, now, uh, it's not good. It's not good. And even worse news is awaiting. Oh, yeah. Well, I just wanted to say uh, that just kind of keeps this majority, yeah. you know, in line. Knight H4. So let me just make a move here. Right. G5. I was also thinking that even if you did go here, I'm not 100% sure about this. Cool. And such a high stakes game too. E5. This position is good for white. Right. I'm going to be afraid of that happening. So, and again, all I'm trying to say, okay, if you take with the rook, this is check. But, but let's, uh, my my pawn grabbing credentials. Uh... Here I got easily. I tell you what I missed. I I saw this position and I had it in my mind. Um. I'm, I think I'm happy with white. I've got, I've got uh, bishop to b4. It's remarkable. Correct. No. Check. King David 7. I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. Uh, the castles. We're having internet problems. I can't believe it. No worries. Very, very nice. The knight on E2. Deadly check. Okay. So there was tricks like this. So this is after. Wait. C6 check. That's very different than what I'm used to. So we got, uh, are, we, are we here now? Check. C7, it's a girl. G5. 
check. So I, it's bizarre. Bishop b5 is the right move? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it, it still... I knew when I met your mom, she said you were good for something, and uh, I guess she was right. <laughs> yeah. What? 95. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, you don't have... Oh, Jack, this should be five. Forgot his preparation. Is there a way to increase the pressure, though? That's with a check, but yeah, knight c5. Check, king to the d6 square. Yes. Knight e4, and I'm forced to move my king. Uh, conspiracy uh, theorists. I want more than that. I want everything. Okay, so bishop e5. And, uh, oh, my, my man taking care of me. That, that same kind of nasty checkmating. Well, here you don't have, oh, um, well, the extraordinary part there. Uh, sure. It's it's strange what little I know about this position. I want more than that. I want everything. Oops. He had more trades. Uh, well, actually, we have a phone call. Sorry. Yeah. Rook to d7. Check. So king f8. Here, here's my intention. Check. Uh, Rook to e8. This was a real disaster. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This was, this was uh, very, very hard. Nice comeback. Nice comeback. Knight on f3, e6, bishop g5, bishop to e7, and guess what? And that looks okay. b6, so e4. But now, and let's just go with h6 for a second. And yes, all the pieces are looking good. Bishop d3 looks intuitively right. Bishop b7. Castles. Uh, here I would get really, really scared. Castles? Well, knight h5. Dead bot shuffle, d6. Check. The, the e5. Well, I'm just gonna grab a pawn. Okay. But we do have on the board queen f4. Check. 
White has done very well in my view. Okay, so, and quite frankly, he doesn't have too much of a choice. G3, Queen F6. Let's get those ponies. 94. Mm. And we're up to date with the player. And D5. And B7. Taking quite some time. So Knight C6. Well, sorry. Bishop B7. Uh, winning the house. And some, I mean, he's sitting there saying, okay, I want to blast open this bishop's diagonal. E4, if you take... <laughs> uh huh. White has done very well in my view. It's a hybrid. It's a yeah. And e7. Rook to e8. Very irritating checks. Again, I think that white's for choice. I don't know how big it is. I, I think it's actually not that big a deal. Okay, very, very nice. These these rapid games were, were fun. G3, check, F2, the incredibly tactically gifted, this bishop on E5 is a very powerful bishop. Castles. No worries. <laughs> Knight G6 is on board. I'm waiting. Knight g4. Yes. Knight d7. It really does feel like it comes right out of some kind of Rui Lopez, doesn't it? d4. Oh my word. <laughs> Knight 
can be a very dangerous attack. Knight c3. Bishop d2. Uh, again. Oops. And knight g5. It really does feel like it comes right out of some kind of Rui Lopez, doesn't it? Bishop d2. How did the engine see it? And now we can think about how to get this rook on h1 in the game. Um, and the players have very quickly gotten themselves into a topical position. White has a huge, nearly decisive advantage. Oops, bishop back to g3. Rook on h1. And he played it so fast. King d2. Well, because, yeah, I mean, we've all, we all like the wings gambit. Check. And, um, again, just to remind everybody who may be joining us late. Bishop g5. With a check. Uh. Oh, really? I was about to say, I like the knight on f4 very much. That's all she wrote. Okay, that was a fun game. Uh, nothing has happened. Right. Uh, you know me, I'm a pawn grabber, man. Deadly check. Exactly. Bishop d3. Sorry. We're going to have to move real fast. Okay. Um... I want to make a pawn attack against your king. Knight h4. Card carrying member of pawn grubbers. <laughs> exactly. Right. I think that's almost a force majeure. All right, and then. 
well what what you know how sweet it is they blockade uh the vision on e4 is not really protected d5 and h6 is a devastating threat with the idea of h7 gift me your bonds baby you know um What? Bishop C2. And, by the way, not only is, is, is it's, it's strange what little I know about this position. Knight H5, bringing his pieces to the defense of his king. King F1. And now, and now, check. He has made that decision. So this is the current position. Okay, so we're up to here. Whoa, bishop a6 check. Well, I'm not, I'm not usually one to gift away my pawns right now. Resigns. That was a great match. I really enjoyed it. E5, Bishop G5. Uh, sorry, he did what? Suppose I did something like Knight F6. Um, uh, easy day at the office. H6. Oh. Sure, I would take it. Something like this. E3. This is a different Berlin than I'm used to. E6. Bishop D3. <laughs> Don't have too much fun at my expense. Oops. That's pretty significant, I would... I would say. Correct. I think maybe we want to get the queen into the game. Bishop h5. Very, very intriguing move. Castle. And we're up to date. Bishop to e7. Queen b3. It's all going very, very badly, I'm afraid. For Castle short. That is a very nice tempo here. And card carrying member of Pawn Grubbers. <laughs> you can't play Rook B8. Oh, well, maybe you can. I want to go E5 ASAP, of course, but boy, I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we got to this position. Why rush? A move we've been hitting the drum for for some time. Um, right, right. E4. Uh, winning the house.
I guess you just have to calculate that isn't causing any accidents because at the moment this guy is still active. So, like, there is always these, uh, and just, uh, well, if you're going to be insistent. Um, Many masters have tried uh, a different line in this. To get an advantage. <laughs> um, um. But very double edged as well. And that looks okay. Yes. It's it's strange what little I know about this position. Ah, right. I think we're going to sacrifice soon. Uh, ha, ha. Okay, so basically he's given the move to me. Exactly. And chase the king. Was that from a basketball and uh, <laughs> king g2 was played? Bishop back to g3. Very, very intriguing move. Right. Well, what's fun for what? Knight g5. Uh, the players have very quickly gotten themselves into a topical position. Uh, it's new. It's new for me too. Well, now. Oh, my word. Uh, I used to play the Queen's Gambit Accepted, and... The magic of television. Well, here I would probably begin with H3 with a check. Going to make a sacrifice. Then, in g4, check. King g2. Check. It wasn't rigged. Well, knight f4. Well, I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying it, it doesn't feel really... The highly desirable move is simply bishop g2, and that's the, that's... Well, we'll certainly keep a very close eye on that game. Oh, my word. Uh, so both players showing that they're very well prepared because... Uh, They've just been zipping right along here. Knight h5, a move we've been hitting the drum for for some time. Um, yes. Bishop g4. What kind of pot committed? Well, I recall it was quite painful. Exactly. Bishop d6. Lovely. F4. Sorry. Oh, yeah. E5, as played in the World Championship match. Big advantage. Here I got... Indeed, that's exactly what we have gotten. Check. 
I did have the other choice, H7. Deadly check. Well, oh, check. Yes, I am done. Okay, that was a fun game.